Here's a little tip. Next time you go to buy something, think of it in terms of labor costs. Whatever you make per hour, figure out what does this thing cost me in terms of my time working. That is a good measure. So if you're going to buy a TV, let's say the TV's $400 and it takes you a week to make that. Um, that TV costs you a week of labor. Seems like a lot, but that TV, I mean, it's going to last a long time, hopefully. How about a vehicle? Say you get a $5,000 car and you make $5,000 in two months. And that car is going to cost, or going to last you five years. It's a couple of weeks a year. Not bad. Let's see, what else could you buy? If you buy, if you go and eat out and your meal costs you $30, you're taking a date out. $30 meal, pretty high. And you make 10 bucks an hour, that's three hours. And probably at the meal, you, maybe you'll be there two hours. Let's be generous. Well, now you've got an off balance, so it's, t it's taking you more time to work than the time you're going to be able to use or enjoy the fruits of that labor. It might still be worth it once a month or on an occasion, probably not every week, you know. So the ratio is really what you're going for, okay? How long did it take me to work to get this? How long am I going to be able to enjoy this thing that I'm buying? That's how you determine whether it's worth it. See this coffee? I don't know how much it costs, but I think I do. Um, but in terms of my time, maybe 10 minutes. Stretching it, maybe 10 minutes. And I've been enjoying it for a half hour, so that's a good deal. Took me 10 minutes to make it and 30 minutes to enjoy it. Pretty good ratio. Also, how many hours a week you work matters as well. If you only have 30 hours a week that you can turn into labor and make money, um, things get a little complicated. There's a scarcity there. But if you work 60 to 70 hours like I do, there's lots of hours there to enjoy things on your time off. So, also, if you work a lot, there's less time off to be able to spend money. Think about that, too. Do you have a lot of time? Maybe you should try to fill that with work. Hey, make hay while the sun shines. In a good economy like this, fill your time with labor. Be productive, resourceful with your, your time and labor. And take advantage of this economy while you can. Who knows when the next crash is going to happen? You know, Bible says that the ant stores up in the summer her meat for the winter. So, in good times, take advantage of them. Don't just expect, hey, you know, it's gonna be always be like this. We're always gonna have this job, We're always gonna have this lifestyle. No, you've gotta save up and invest and, and all that. Take advantage of the hours that you can get at work. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Hey, if you think about it, sub subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow the link, whatever you got to do. Share it if it's good enough to share. If it's not, don't share it. Also, um, like it, give it a thumbs up. That helps somehow. I don't even know how. So, appreciate all your work for me.